Totalitarian tiptoe. The totalitarian tiptoe is the world domination method of slow encroachment on civil liberties and freedoms used by a small few that want to control the world. The totalitarian tiptoe involves small, easily accepted, and less noticeable steps to achieve a pre-desired endpoint that would otherwise be totally discarded by the general populace of the world. The favorite modus operandi of those that plan a totalitarian tiptoe is the problem-reaction-solution formula. Hegelian dialectic, also known as problem-reaction-solution. The Hegelian dialectic is, in short, the critical process by which the ruling elite create a problem, anticipating in advance the reaction that the population will have to the given crisis, and thus conditioning the people that a change is needed. When the population is properly conditioned, the desired agenda of the ruling elite is presented as the solution. When the newly inflamed difficulty reaches the boiling point of a crisis, it becomes the foundation upon which arguments may again be made for change. Hence, the process is repeated over and over, moving society toward whatever end the planners have in mind. Repetition. Repetition reinforces an initial suggestion and compensates for the weakness of the original signal. If repeated often enough, a new cerebral pathway is formed. Some brand names have been repeated so often they have become part of our everyday vocabulary. Kleenex, Frigidaire, Nike, Bic, etc. were all unknown brand names at one time. Through repetition, they have become synonymous with the products they represent. The exact same process is at work during our education and conditioning as children. Frequent exhortations to be careful or don't touch become so deeply ingrained in our minds, we cease to question their validity. Just moments ago, you saw it here live oh, from my Chopper gosh. 2. This is uh, like nothing we've ever seen before. As we watch. The direct threat. Hijacked. The hijacked. And hijacked. So many attacks. Hijacked plane. Terrorist event. Terrorists. High terrorist alert. Terrorist threat. Terrorist target. Terrorism. Terrorist attack. So I, I started freaking. An explosion. 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 An explosion. Explosion. Another explosion. Third explosion. And crashing down. The World Trade Center on fire. 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 The fire. 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 Bombing. That a car bomb. Car bombing. It collapsed. 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 The building has collapsed. 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 Blown up. There are still people in there screaming, screaming, crying, thousands of injuries, jumping from windows, casualty, casualty, death. This is just so tragic. Unbelievable. 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 A horrific scene. Horrified. Catastrophe. Continue to look live. It's live. You're looking at this live. You saw it here live. Never would imagine we would see in our lifetime. An hour and a half in which the world in the United States has changed dramatically. We have no idea really what might happen next. On September 11, 2001, America's worst nightmare became a reality. Terrorists attacked sites in New York City, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. And the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. The attacks sparked a 10-year battle which came to be known as the War on Terror. Led by full-time U.S. military soldiers, a coalition of international forces assumed primary responsibility for engaging a largely unseen enemy. December 17, 2005, President George W. Bush confirmed an NSA eavesdropping program. In the weeks following the terrorist attacks on our nation, I authorized the National Security Agency, consistent with U.S. law and the Constitution, to intercept the international communications of people with known leaks, links to Al-Qaeda 
and related terrorist organizations. Critics argued Bush became the first sitting president to ever admit committing a felony by circumventing the courts. The American people are afraid, Mr. President. They're afraid of Big Brother. Two years later, President Bush wants even more power to eavesdrop without warrants, one month after signing a temporary law doing just that.